Today then, something old but something new. This old Park Zone model, I managed to find new old stock. I think it was released back in 2012, which makes it 10 years old. But uh, time to see if she flies. A little bit of a breeze today. I'm on half rates. That functioning rudder on this model chocks away. Very sedate takeoff there. Beautiful. <laughs> Not making much headway against that wind, but throttle up a bit. Not sure what the battery is going to be like on this. I do have a larger mosquito waiting to be built. It's been waiting for the last 25 years. I'm sure it can wait a little longer. That's a 1.5 1. 1. metre wingspan, I think. So now, the moment you've all been waiting for, where I crash. <laughs> No apparent damage, which is good. The foam that they used on this model is very, very brittle, it appears. If only they remade this today in, in the EPO, wouldn't it be a joy? That's enough of that. Uh, having uh, switched the ailerons, sorry, having switched the elevator control up to full, doing doing better now. Nice long battery One time. One minute. Doesn't appear to have too many vices. Oop. Timer one elapsed. So with my timer elapsed, I'm not sure what sort of battery capacity we're going to have. It needs to be flown onto the deck, I think. Speaking of decks, Eric Winkle Brown managed to land one of these guys on a on a carrier. I think he was the first guy to do so. Oh, nearly made it onto the runway. Oh well, successful flight anyway. Uh, really nice little model, as I say. A great shame Horizon Hobby don't re-release this uh, this range of ultra micros today using EPO or EPP. It's sure to be a winner. <laughs> Seems to still have plenty of power. We'll check the battery when we get back to the car. <laughs> 